Like a lot of things, the laptop you choose can say a lot about you as an individual. Some are a fashion statement, like the Surface laptop with its deeply colored aluminum finish and matching Alcantara wrist rest. Others are utilitarian for the no-nonsense, business-oriented professional crowd, while still others are, as far as we can tell, pretty much pure displays of excess and wealth. As for this one over here, the Dell G3, what kind of person would own one of these? By the look of things, the rugged type of person. The kind of person who has made some compromises in the pursuit of price to performance. But has the trade-off been worth it for him and his fellow G3ers? Well, join us as we take a look at a day in the life of a Dell G3 owner. Looking for an affordable and reliable VPN? Private internet access encrypts your internet traffic and uses a safe, protected IP. Check it out today through the link below. Waking up at the crack of 10 o'clock, except for Tuesdays because of that one 8 a.m. math class, the Dell G3 owner spills out of bed and gets cleaned up. He makes an attempt at grooming himself before finally, after 30 painstaking seconds, opting for a hat. His muscles ripple as his five plus pounds of laptop get stashed into his backpack for transportation, followed by his 1.3 pound power brick. Thanks to the G3's just over four and a half hours in our battery life test, this second part is a requirement. Here, the Dell G3 and its owner are on their home turf, a quick gaming session during an early break period. Compared to other gaming laptops, it lacks some flash, but the owner is quick to point out how wise he was to forgo RGB for more performance, since at $850, the G3 competes with much more expensive models. Getting into the game takes a little longer. Just 128 gigs of solid state storage for the OS and some applications means that most games will sit on the one terabyte of molasses slow 5400 RPM hard drive. But, once it hits the battlefield, the G3 keeps up admirably once again. Housing a quad-core Intel Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA 1050 Ti, even modern AAA games can touch the top frame rate that can be displayed by its 60Hz 1080p monitor, albeit with some sacrifices. Many in-game details will have to be dropped to medium or low. When break time is almost over, and it's time to start a last-minute render or video export, the G3 CPU will thermal throttle briefly, dropping down from its max 4GHz turbo. It will increase its fan speed to a higher performance but still audibly comfortable level. Then it settles in at about 3.3GHz with temperatures in the 75 to 80 degree range. But now the G3 and its owner must be removed from their comfort zone to a teacher-assigned study group. Producing the Dell G3 here does not draw the attention of potential mates, with their gaze passing by its plastic exterior and large bezels to rivals with harder, slimmer chassis made of exotic materials like carbon fiber. But wait, one needs help with homework. Here the G3 keeps up and even sets itself apart. The wide viewing angles afforded by its IPS display help when multiple people want to share an Excel document. Naturally taken on by the G3 with its greater processing power and dedicated number pad. And while others are donning dongles, the G3 maintains an old school approach with a healthy endowment of three USB type A's and a full sized HDMI connector. Though it becomes confused when presented with the increasingly common type C device its owner having not shelled out for the optional Thunderbolt upgrade. The subpar trackpad causes it to stumble while navigating the worksheet, however, making a little rattling noise every time it gets tapped. And when it comes time to beautify the assignment in Photoshop, a competitor takes command with its more vibrant and color accurate display. Returning home, the owner takes a short break with some quality YouTube content Without headphones, the speakers of the G3 delivering a solid enough sound for casual listening, 
Then he begins work typing up that short story for his stupid creative writing elective. It's due tomorrow, but he gets up to his full typing speed quickly thanks to the G3's decent keyboard. The softer, but still tactile keystrokes make for a mostly good experience, but he is occasionally frustrated by a missed stroke due to the G3's mediocre key stabilization. Once the story has been polished to a good enough standard, the owner heads to bed, dreaming of the day that he might crack the G3 open to upgrade the RAM or toss in a larger NVMe drive. Arriving at the morning gaming session the next day, something is different. A new laptop has disrupted the natural power dynamic, an Acer Nitro 5. Oh well, mine was just 850 bucks, remarks the G3 owner, but his usual defense is useless. The Nitro 5 was $50 less. So they trade blows. A slightly stiffer chassis on the Dell, a better trackpad on the Nitro, more storage in the hard drive of the Dell, but Type-C compatibility by default on the Nitro. The Dell has a more subdued appearance, while the Nitro 5 goes for a more traditional, gamery look. In the end, both are worthy competitors and earn a recommendation from us if you're looking for GPU performance per dollar in a laptop. But the G3 is still deserving of some criticism. The price and performance of the Dell G3 is slightly better than the last gen Inspiron Gaming, but it doesn't feel like it's worthy of being called next gen. The biggest problem for us is that the G3 looks like a three-year-old computer. The build quality is the same, if not worse, the I.O. is old school, and with Acer making big improvements to the budget gaming segment, the Dell G3 is only just getting a recommendation from us. At this point, we're probably still going to say to go with whichever one is on sale, but Dell will probably have to make some bigger improvements next time around if they want to keep up with Acer's pressure. Squarespace lets you create a beautiful website with their all-in-one platform. Their award-winning templates make creating a powerful online identity easier than ever. Every template is a starting point for a wide range of projects, and if you're feeling overwhelmed or having trouble, Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support via live chat and email. You can also attend a live webinar or check out their help guides. And you can now transfer your third-party domains to Squarespace. So instead of working with multiple vendors to maintain your online presence, you can consolidate all your domains and billing settings with Squarespace. Squarespace also allows you to easily manage products, orders, and inventory if you want to use your site as an online store. So head to squarespace.com forward slash LTT and use code LTT for 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this slightly different style of video, you can let us know with that button down there. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.